Well, hello and welcome to Ask a Doctor. My name is Jerry McGee and I'll be the host for today's show. We're here at Wellness Associates in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania with Dr. Eugene Goldberg. Dr. Goldberg, thank you very much for your time. On today's show, uh, Doc, I think we're going to cover something that, one, is probably impacting a lot of the viewers out here. Uh, some uh, maybe know it, some don't know it, but it's this problem of uh, thyroid or uh, hypothyroidism. Mm -hmm. And, you know, everybody knows people that, that have been put on thyroid medication uh, and is, is having a problem there. And we, on today's show, we want to talk about, you know, because people might not be realizing what is this chiropractic connection between, okay, I got a thyroid problem. How can that, you know, what is that connection with chiropractic? So that's one of the things that we definitely want to hit and help educate these people it's, on today. It's not only chiropractic, but it's also nutritional. But what, from chiropractic, to answer your question, it's C7 mm -hmm. nerve controls your thyroid in the front. T1 nerve controls the thyroid in the front. So its structure affects function. The cell, the organ, the muscle, which is the thyroid, is being controlled, regulated, and innervated by the brain and the spinal cord. So if your brain and spinal cord are like this, at that level, which is the lower part of your neck, C7, that is going to affect the functioning and performance of the organ. So when you get the nerve adjusted, that's functioning closer to 100%. Okay? So therefore, of course, they're not going to get this in a medical doctor's office. We would have to diagnose this in a chiropractic office because the answer to your question, that is the chiropractic connection. That your nervous system controls that cell, that organ, that muscle, which in this case is the thyroid. And, and I would say just, you know, from coming up, you know, growing up in athletics and all that kind of stuff, I, and I'm just going to throw this out. And you can tell me if I'm off base or if I'm on, but, you know, when you take a look at all these, uh, let's just say all the kids that are playing football and contact sports yes. and have all this contact to the head, to the neck, yes. to the, you know, to the upper back, uh, all the car accidents that are out there, the, you know, the rear enders and, and all the, all the stress that take, you know, takes place in the neck. It, it appears from, you know, doing the research that, I, that I'm doing and listening to you here today that that really could be the main root cause of, uh, you know, why it's so elevated in this country. That's what you mean. There's a Dr. Croft out in San Diego and he did tremendous research and he determined that car accidents definitely affect the thyroid, okay? Especially like even a fender bender, anything less than 30 miles per hour impact is definitely gonna affect the neck, which is definitely gonna affect the structure, and it's gonna affect the function of that cell, that organ, that muscle, which is the thyroid. Over 30 miles an hour, that affects more the low back, but a fender bender, something less than 30 miles an hour, which happens all the time, mm -hmm. that affects your neck, that affects the thyroid. Football, every time you play football, that's like your body thinks you're in a car accident. Right, right. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, I mean, I could really see a, a correlation between all these things that go on in our life, even the stress and the, you know, things that cause us to, you know, to, to not, not really have proper functioning of the neck. Yeah, you're hunched over on a computer all day. You're on the phone and you're going like this. Mm -hmm. The neck wasn't designed to be on a phone mm -hmm. like this and scrunching your neck like that. You're supposed to be straight. Of course, you're hunched over a computer for eight hours. You spend a third of your life hunched over. Yeah. Of course, that's going to affect the neck. See, the neck should be in what is called the arc of life, which is a 43 degree curve. So if you're in a car accident, you play football, I don't see that. Mm -hmm. You know, I see six, seven, eight, okay? Yeah. So we can adjust them, we can put them on a contour pillow, and we can tremendously help these people. And, and again, I think, it, you know, when you take a look at this whole preventative, uh, you know, uh, concept and, and really being proactive with your, with your treatments, a person that's coming in and getting these, you know, maintenance adjustments and making sure that the function is, is there, uh, you know, I, I don't think people can relate to how much of an impact that's going to have on your lifelong health by, by doing a, a simple thing, just getting that maintenance uh, can change the rest of your life. My comment on that is what you maintain is what you sustain. So if you maintain nothing, you sustain nothing. In other words, you can't stay the same. Mm -hmm. So let's say we fix somebody's spine and you don't maintain it, it can come back, it can relapse, it can come back again, okay? So there's a bad word in chiropractic. It's called a relapse. So you have to maintain it just like you brush your teeth, you get uh, maintain your body. You eat, you sleep, you brush your teeth. We're kind of brushing your spine, mm -hmm. okay? You brush your teeth so your teeth don't fall out, right? Yeah. We brush your spine so your spine doesn't fall out. Well, and, you know, we always talk about the car correlation. I mean, you don't change your car oil once and say you're good That's for right. life. That's you right. got to periodically do that. And Tune up front and alignment, yeah. Yeah. change the oil. I mean, what's more invaluable to you, your body or your car, Jerry? Yeah. Well, I, th I think, unfortunately, people spend more time taking care of their car than they do their own body. And that's unfortunate. Then they wonder why they're in the position that they're in. It's, it's really, when you think about it, it's really a simple concept. Of If your health is out of whack right now, it's, I don't think it's that hard to pinpoint where you're going wrong. 
you know, with the decisions you're making, you know, how, you know what you're doing to, to help your body. We can't continue to beat this machine and expect it to function at a high level. My comment on that is usually four things. It's either your diet, your lifestyle, your nutrition, and your structure. So if you work on those four things, in my opinion, my experience has been in 30 years, you're going to live a long, healthy, wonderful life, and you're not going to need drugs, you're not going to need hospitals, you're not going to need a nursing home. I heard recently that people are buying insurance to go into a nursing home. Yeah. I'm not buying insurance to go into a nursing home. I'm just saying that's a growth industry now. Okay? So I got some, uh, something better. I got my diet, my lifestyle, my nutrition, and my structure, which are going to live a long, healthy, wonderful life, and hopefully you too, Jared. I'm, I'm, I'm learning a lot every week, I can tell you that. Now, I want to talk uh, again a, a little bit about, you know, we looked at the, at the uh, function and the structure here. Let's talk about this nutritional impact, yes. because th there might even be some people right now that are on uh, thyroid medication. It's synthetic. And, and don't understand how nutrition can even impact that and what they should look at. So what can of, you tell us along those lines? A lot of people are on Synthroid, Jerry. Now what it means is synthetic thyroid, where you're taking a thing, it's called T4. Now T4 is not the biologically active aspect of the thyroid. It has to be converted to T3. Okay, so in order to do that, you have to have selenium. So if you're on Synthroid and you're deficient in selenium, your body cannot convert from T4 to T3. Okay, so what we do differently is we give the patient iodine. The T3, T4 represents the number of atoms of iodine. A lot of medical doctors don't know this. So if I give you iodine, that helps the hypothyroid because the reason you get hypothyroid or even hyperthyroid is because you're deficient in iodine. Why? We live in the goiter belt. Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia, Michigan, there's more goiter in those four states than any states in the country. Why? It's not in the soil. So if somebody's on a low salt diet, they're not eating any fish, you're not getting any, any iodine. If you're not getting any iodine in the diet, you're not getting any iodine to the thyroid. The thyroid is going to not function right because it runs on, th on iodine. So many of these kind of, uh, you know, for lack of a better word, cookie cutter health programs that are out there that say cut down on the salt. Right. You know, and that's just like a blanket across the board. But you need good salt. We have right. sea salt. We use uh, pink salt, Himalayan pink salt. You need that, okay? So at one time, my understanding, Jerry, salt was considered like gold. Okay, so these people are on these Morton salt, of course, that's something you want to stay away from. You want to go with the good air-dried sea salt that we can order for the patient. Okay. okay, so if you do the air-dried sea salt, Himalayan sea salt, that's what your body wants. You need salt, okay? So that helps your thyroid, it gives you the iodine, and we're going to talk about another video that helps the adrenal glands. And there's a theory that the three most important glands in your body are your heart, your thyroid, and your adrenal. You get those three working, you're going to have energy. Understanding lack of energy, that's how all disease starts. So a lot of the people that are watching the show, and I know we'll hit it again when we talk about the adrenal glands, but you know, a lot of people are walking around in that lethargic state. They're kind of, you know, they, they come home after work and they sit on a couch and they're, they're out cold in a matter of, you know, minutes. They're, they're exhausted. They're, you know, right. I mean, that's sad. Yeah, but I, I think I think a lot of people watching this video can relate to that concept. Yeah, there's a lot of women out there. I didn't see in my office a woman yesterday. She's 45 years old. She's washed out. She's working full time. She's got three kids. She's going carpooling. She's going shopping. Uh, no wonder mm -hmm. she's exhausted. She's exhausted. Yeah. Okay. Well, and I think we always, because, you know, one of the things that I always liked, and this is just kind of a humorous point, but, you know, I always joke around where, you know, my grandmother seemed like she could go all day long. This is true. You know, never got tired. And now as, as each of these generations goes by, it almost seems like it's getting worse and worse and worse. It is. You know, and, uh, you know, I, I, we always say that yeah, you're not, you know, you're not like my grandmother, you know. And, and I think it's because of a lot of these environmental things that are taking place. Uh, you know, we're not taking, uh, you know, as good a care of ourselves. I can remember, you know, just the way we ate back then was different than, right, you know, it's, the diet. it's not all the processed stuff that everybody's eating today. You know, we just you know, home cook stuff and out of the garden and all that. It's just a different lifestyle. That's true. My understanding, a third of the kids being born today, supposedly, as they become an adult, they're going to have adult onset diabetes. One third of the babies being born today are going to have adult onset diabetes. One third. Yeah. That's epidemic. Yeah. Yeah, it's a scary, scary thing. Well, you know, we, again, we, you know, we just hope that you got a lot out of this video. And we encourage you that the next episode that we're going to have is going to be talking on adrenal glands. And you're definitely going to want to kind of uh, watch that one because there, all these things are kind of mm -hmm. going together, and, together and fitting this, you know, fitting this puzzle together. So, you know, be sure to check back and watch that. Uh, and, and again, if you're having issues, uh, you know, you want to come down, have a nutritional evaluation. Uh, you know, you want to kind of just come down and see what goes on here at Wellness Associates. We encourage you to do that. I think you will be amazed 
at the at the impact it can have and, and the things you're going to learn in one visit just ab about how their your body is functioning and, and some different things that you need to change so with that thank you very much for spending some time with us today we hope you continue to to enjoy these shows we enjoy bringing them to you and uh, we look forward to uh, to seeing you on our next show have a great day